ਜਸਟ ਕਲ ਬਾਤ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਅਰਵਿੰਦ ਕੌਰ ਦੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਆਮ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਕ ਖਾਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਰਾਮ ਨਾਲ ਬੈਠਿਓ ਤੇ ਇੰਜ ਕਰੋ ਇੱਕ ਇਹ ਟ੍ਰੇਲਰ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਆਓ ਜਰਨੀ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਅ ਜਰਨੀ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਚ ਦਿਸ my entry into water birth in india reliving my birth and my beginnings my father passed away recently and i dedicate this journey to him thoughts of beginnings and hopes beginnings and strengths as i listen to my heart and move through kerala a magnificent state in the southwestern tip of india this lush green land so liquid so transparent and so inner reflect everything seems to be a dream and a reality i look and search for a sound a movement a feeling that would help me understand what i always thought i understood i look around and i am sure that he is not gone that he is around fire fire cosmic breather fire fire cosmic eater burning heart of fire and pain give me my birth my rebirth through you I have gathered my dreams in a silver air and wrapped them softly and left them there my jeweled dreams of you director performer and the narrator in this movie is with us i see the peacock dance on clay it quivers silent in my heart and walking in my father's hand i am the story of this land wow welcome Thank you. Welcome Manoshi Chitra ji. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on our show and this is the end of this feature film. It's uh, the film was actually dedicated to my father after he passed. Mm. Uh the whole film was shot in Kerala and the post production was done here. And these are the lines that I wrote and the film actually ends with these lines after the credits. Yeah. Mm. Um Can you tell us what was on your mind in these lines? I wrote the lines after he had passed. Um my father was my guru, my uh, mentor, my best friend, mm. my everything. And he supported me as an artist. He supported me to become who I am, to wow. walk on this journey. And he loved peacocks. Really? And these lines they were you know I write a lot so they just were very intuitive and they just 
mm. came from my heart and I wanted to use them at the end of the film. Wow. So let me tell all of you, um, you know, I came across Chitraji through a friend and I came across this book also. So I was very curious and I did some research. I said I need to bring her to my show. Thank you, Sari family no milasaka. So thank you so much for accepting this invitation. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so glad I could be here. Yeah. So uh, you know what? She's an artist, performer, and I would love to take you to your childhood. I mean, being a performer, and she's currently teaching in, uh, you know, professor in NYU Tisch, the School of Arts and Theatre. But uh, where did it start? When did you know this is my line? This is what I want to do? I think uh, very, very young. I think when I was five years old, mm. I started to write poetry. And wow. uh, my father used to keep all my poems. Mm. And uh, if anybody, you know how people would ask what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, the only thing I ever said was I want to express myself. Oh, it really? At that time? Always. Early. And that's the only thing I ever said. So Actually, th that book ends with those two lines. Um, and performing was being on stage, sharing a passion with people, with an audience. Mm. That was so important for me. And I, it was a natural. I loved it. And my father encouraged me all the way. This is where I was going, like, I don't see too many women, too many of our folks in this line. So um, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Like, when did it, in school, you knew five years old, that's really early. That's a blessing. Yeah. But um, then resistance and support, what kind of? Well, you know, the uh, you're from India, and I'm from Bengal, and it's the same. Uh, you know the resistance right. for this kind of it's in a way out of the box but i think art saves humanity mm. uh, how would you how would you interpret that in punjabi or hindi because <laughs> my hindi is not so good how would you translate that right no my audience understands english i know aj is rur see excuse mangreyan ki um chitra ji she understands hindi and punjabi but she doesn't speak so please call Zarur Karyo, Tanki Asi Swagat Karna and Anu Apne Parivar Devich. And uh, I'm grateful that she's sharing all these experiences with us. So, uh, you know, the way she's saying that artists and art and creativity is the thing which will save the humanity. Otherwise, there's all competition and I don't know what it is apart from there. Well, it's, 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 it's an entertainment it's, and that's fine too, but I think that arts, which is comes from a calling and a mission which I, w I had. Nobody Very told me you have to do this. And the resistance going back to that was huge. Hmm. Uh, oh yes, I mean. In spite that your dad was with you. Yes, my mother, lo of course, she loved me. I love her. She was a very unique, beautiful woman and artist herself. Uh -huh. But in her mind, her only daughter, youngest, had to get married, be safe. I understand that right. completely. But my father saw this and that's all he wanted to encourage. And he went against everybody's wishes, including hers, and actually sent me to RADA, which is a very difficult school to get into in London, the Royal yes, Academy of Dramatic of Arts. And uh, my mother didn't speak to me for a while, but she understood So afterwards. what was your age then? I was very young. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I think I was, when I went to London, I was close to 16 and a half or so. Wow. So 16 year they would take eight London page that they gave father this Razamandi Nal to a school which is probably top in the world. It one is. of the top in this it, life. I, I would say it is the top. The top. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, that's very that's a privilege to be there and then studied from there. Then what happened? What kind of um, avenues opened up? For well, you? you know, I I was avenues were a lot, but uh, there is, of course, you know, you're not, uh, you, you, the look is different. You're not white. You don't right. have blonde hair and blue eyes. And uh, mm. I would go f to auditions, and everybody with the director would say, "Oh my God, she's amazing," but the look, the look, the look. Mm -hmm. uh, people would say, "Go back to India." Uh, my whole journey was not to go back. It was always to move forward. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I don't love my culture. My culture is, our culture is beautiful. Right. I love it. 
I cherish it, but I wasn't going to just run back. Mm. So I did a lot of work in London and then I continued in Canada also. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally I decided that I needed to do, almost create my own way. So, you know, with my father's support and trust, I could do that. You know what, we'll talk more about this after a short break, but to see call, zarur karo. Welcome back and welcome Manoshi Chitra Niyogi. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for being here and tell me, we were talking about resistance and supports you got because this is a little bit, you know, hutke. You get there, na, ke? Jo sochte hai, her parents, okay, you know, she's going to do this, he's going to do this, but it was little away from that. So how did that Fair. Well, it was very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. I also come, I don't know if the Niyogi name, it's a, it's a title. A it does ring a bell. Uh, yeah, and I mean, it's a very, very, uh, it's a very tight family. It's kind of an aristocracy, but it's uh, a family which, you know, really follows all the traditions and the mm -hmm. rituals. So here I am, you know, the third, the youngest and the only daughter. Um, I had no interest in following the typical path of arranged marriage. Um, why? Because I wanted to discover and find my own uh, way. And I was so blessed and so fortunate to have a father who, that I, who supported me all the way. And actually when he encouraged me and sent me to London, everybody else said mm -hmm. that, uh, Mr. Nyogi, you're grad, you know, your daughter is going to get uh, in Bengali, uh, she'll be finished, she'll, she'll be spoiled. And my <laughs> father would just laugh and say, never, she's going to bring India back. I never understood what he meant. I said, Dad, what do you mean? And uh, slowly, as my life opened up, I realized that I think I understood what he meant, you know. So this film, the excerpt which you showed, right. is actually, it was it's really important. I've done a lot of other films, but this is actually one of the reasons I'm in NYU. It's won a lot of awards all over the world, but mm. the, it's dedicated to the man who gave me my support, my backbone, my trust, and I didn't have to, mm. you know, I, because of his trust, I could go ahead and do what I wanted to do, and it was immense. I no, you're right, because, uh, you know, let's think about the era we are talking about, few years before in India, people won't even send to another town. Yeah. A girl who's, you know, like you said, a uh, um, yeah. fluent family, single child, only child. And yeah. So that's huge, yeah. So from there, what happened? Well, you know, I, like I said, I mean, I just so much opened up and I, as a performer, and then from London, I was in Canada because I had some work there. Uh, there was two or three films and uh, so I, worked there and then after that came to New York but like I said I was not I chose this path or the path chose me and mm -hmm. so creating in expressing was my uh, my passion and nothing else uh, worked for me and so I just continued and continued and did not want to compromise and just do anything so it was not easy mm. but uh, I have no regrets, you know, and then of course the whole thing of being a woman and coming from yeah. India and coming from another culture, uh, all of that was so big. I'm sure. So being a woman, I'm sure we'll talk more about that. How about the cultures, the difference in the culture, Chitra, it, that's big too. You know, how did you cope with that? Do well, you, you know, see yourself as an Indian woman who's trying to make it or you know who's made it I can't say trying to make it you've made like wonderful you've created so much stuff now in this thing but uh, do you think it was different because you were a woman because I'm from India, from India? Uh, I you know I hope you understand this and I hope our wonderful viewers do I didn't just isolate myself or differentiate myself as I'm from India. Mm. I am from India. Right, of course. I love my culture, but it wasn't like, I'm from India, so. Uh, I'm a woman, so. I felt even the way I thought was interesting because 
I don't think everybody else thought that way. And so being from India was, to me, is a huge asset. Um, and instead of kind of melting into the pot, like a lot of people from other cultures do when they come to America, I refuse to do that. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that I didn't uh, integrate into the Western mm -hmm. culture, but I didn't kind of imitate it. Mm -hmm. I refuse to do that. Right. I don't want to speak like an American. Uh, I want to have my own voice. Yeah. I love this country, but I don't want to become, you know, I don't want to be an imitator, and I'm not an imitator. Of so, and, you know, the, the whole thing about the uh, racism, uh, especially against women in film, is mm -hmm. in Hollywood as right. big. It's huge. It's There's huge. A, a documentary just, just came out. Um, it still is, so mm -hmm. you can imagine what it was at that time. Right. Um, so it's a big fight, but... Uh, you know, the power of yeah. the feminine mystique, the power of woman, mm -hmm. um, Shakti, yeah. I mean, it's the most important thing. Yeah. I really want to talk so much about this because I've read some, uh, you know, expert excerpts from, Except. your, from your book and uh, your work. And you remind all of us to just be which is beautiful. So let me take uh, a call and then we'll quickly go there. Hello. Hello, Namaskar ji. Namaskar ji, Namaskar, Sudarshan ji. Haan ji, hello Chitra ji. Aap se ki. Thank you. Hello Chitra ji, I'm very proud and I love all those artists. The, the difficult thing, how to express, we have so many words in our mind, in our brain. <laughs> Things are going, films like a film is going on, going on. But we can't express. This is a gift from God you have. Thank you so right, much. Right. Yeah, this is a gift from God and I love it. Yeah. No. So, Darshan Ji, you're so right. Good Main, luck for you. Maybe actually, we want to say something and we sometimes think, oh, I don't know how to put it. How to put But yeah. yeah. We have so many words, so many things. Sometimes I think, oh, I have the whole film, I can make a whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I have no guts to write it down. Right. <laughs> no, but good luck to you and then welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Thank wishes you. Thank me you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So, both Vidya, you know, in a way that how to express, and you are blessed with few mediums, not one. I mean, you're a poet, you are a performer yourself. And then you direct and, you know, like she's saying, I wish I could make a film of my own movie, but, you know, we can't read, write it. She does uh, do a little bit poetry, though. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So, and I'm telling her to kind of, you know, at least uh, write a book or something because she has a collection. But um, that's what we're saying, like being creative is whole different this thing. But to make a place and then to represent all of us, actually the way you're so we'll talk more about it let me take a short break do not go anywhere so saranda first swagat hai or you know what i was telling chitra ji uh, one i'm so curious about your company's name wolf women wolf women productions wolf women productions so i was like okay why wolf why so i would love you to share with my audience too and um, yeah, go ahead, Chitra. Why well, did you keep this name? Uh, so, is it okay to continue speaking in English? And yeah. yeah, I mean, if that's. I'm the so, I'm so sorry, I'm not fluent with in Punjabi. That's okay. That's okay. okay apologies like, yeah. to the viewers. Um, <laughs> I um, there's a wonderful writer, and she's a psychologist, uh, Jungian. Um, I know you said you also are. And she's written a book called Women Who Run With The Wolves. And I had seen the book and the name fascinated me. Mm -hmm. so this is uh, maybe 10 years ago. And uh, I researched and then it was a bestseller on the New York Times. So anyway, that's not why I researched it, but the name. Right. And then I saw the book and what it stood for. And, and it, uh, I read it and changed my life at that point and really needed a book like that. Mm. So what the, the Women Who Run With The Wolves is the woman, the wild woman, which is the true woman, not the one who's subservient or just, you know, is beck and call yes. to someone else's orders or wishes, but the feminine self. Uh, we are powerful. We are huge. Mm. We, are, we give life. We yeah. are life. Mm -hmm. How can we not be huge? 
Um, it's not about feminism. Feminism to me is too small. A woman is everything. It's the Ardhanaris, uh, you know, it's the balance of yin and yang mm. and a true woman and Indian women who truly meet that are, I think, the, the most powerful if they're not worried about following. I think the rituals and culture of our country are beautiful, but I think some of the rituals are repeated and empty. Yeah, Chitra. And so uh, while, we're, while you're saying this, I'm, I, are you, you're actually reaching my soul that, yes, women is so powerful. Then why do I get cases all the time that women's feeling so miserable, so weak? Because society does not acknowledge that. Uh, and even like today, why in Hollywood, Today, a documentary came out three weeks ago, which said uh, the documentary is called "This Changes." This will change everything. Mm. And Reese Witherspoon, a, a big a star, and uh, I think she she was interviewed. And Gina Davis, a big star herself, hosted and financed the film. It's all about the um, you know about how difficult it is for women even today to be recognized, even today. And uh, so, in all the different accolades and uh, you know, s awards that are given. The, the research was so thorough, I was stunned because I went to the screening and, um, you know, they talk about I mean, maybe out of a uh, hundred men, there'll be two women filmmakers. I'm not saying that all women right. filmmakers are great, but mm. it is such a uh, huge discrimination and in films that start there and then go on, especially from our culture, as you know, and this subservience of the female, how can, you know, a culture, culture from India that worships the goddess, right. how can you not honor having a daughter? Why is it that the son is only important? And all, these are all the things that I fought against. These are all the things that when I was five years old, I heard my grandmother, um, because my father was a diplomat, and he was an ambassador and he traveled all over de developing countries to, I mean, all over Africa. And we used to come back to India and my, when I was five or six, I, I remember my grandmother, all, all the relatives would come to see the, you know, curiously see the children. And I heard her say, oh, the daughter is beautiful, but she's, she's dark. But in Bengali, it's moila, which means literally translated as unclean. Oh. So I heard that. And that was one of the reasons, sorry, I forgot to mention that in the, in the beginning, I ran out screaming and I told her that I'm going to a country where my color will be respected and loved. And I will never marry one of your men, one of your people. <laughs> that was at five years old okay. or six. So, I mean, why? Why are we so looked down on? And, and why is it that even today, so many women, as you say, are still suffering uh, and cannot and do not have the courage uh, to stand tall. It is not easy. I remember when I was doing, working for the government of India, making all these films, shooting. Uh, yeah, that you yeah. were I assigned went, this job. I was, and I remember once going to some five-star hotel and I was exhausted and was having a massage or whatever, and this wonderful woman, Bengali woman, very simple, very simple, she came to me and she said, Didi, you are speaking for us. What you have done, we can't do, but you have done it. Mm -hmm. And I said, I will do everything to make you visible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not saying that I walk thinking I'm going to save women, but I think that no, but in you're living... You're reminding all of us to be at least acknowledging our own potential, our Absolutely. power. You know, the way you're saying, we have it in us. Absolutely. There's something, I think it, this debate and this, we can keep on going to this conversation that when did that happen? In India especially, you know, Shakti, all, all uh, we, we, we worship the goddess. sa goddesses, yeah. all goddesses, yeah. you know, uh, Saraswati and uh, Akshmi, Durga, what about Mahakali? <laughs> yeah, is in female form and then where did we just, Yeah. so it is a lot to talk about it, but let's take some calls too. Hello. Hello, Sashrikal Arvind Ji, Sashrikal Ji, Sashrikal Ji. Sashrikal, Gurdeep Ji, Namaskar, Hanji Daso. Bengali, Punjabian, Rasabao, we mail Kanda, a Nyanu, don't know how my Anya Honda Navy expecting. A Kranti Karikoma, Emania, don't know, Toda, Dunada, some mail with the Saria, 
ख्वाहिशों से नहीं गिरते हैं फूल झोली में कर्म की शाख को हिलाना होता है कुछ नहीं होगा कोसने से किस्मत को अपने हिस्से का दिया खुद ही जलाना होगा तो इन्होंने अपने हिस्से का दिया खुद जलाया अपनी मेहनत न जलाया फादर का जिक्र बार बार आ रहा मैं करके शेर सुना उसे जरूरत नहीं पूजा और पाठ की जिसने पूजा की अपने माँ बाप की जिसके होने से मैं खुद को मुकम्मल जानती हूँ इन्होंने लिए बोल रहा जानती हूँ मेरे रब से पहले मैं अपने माँ बाप को मानती हूँ किसी ने रोजा रखा किसी ने उपवास रखा पर कबूल सिर्फ उनका हुआ जिन्होंने माँ बाप को अपने दिल में रखा जिन्होंने माँ बाप को अपने दिल में रखा बहुत बढ़िया थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच both the poetry she he narrated was was beautiful, beautiful. You know? yeah. yeah so that this is what you're doing uh, i don't even know that you know we have poets in my group <laughs> you you telling them to be but uh, oi badhiya sariya cheeza hain jehdiyan ke and would you believe ke when i was talking to her previously on phone i was mesmerized by her voice i'm so in love with your voice chitra <laughs> thank you you know and um I'm sure all the narrations in in your this thing is also by your voice. But how did you find this as a blessing, or how did you? Well, you know, my father um, was. I, I know I keep talking about my father. Well, he's. <laughs> I love him. He's right and, in the uh, Yeah, he exactly. Um, I always call him Shona in you know gold. He um, was an orator. Mm -hmm. uh spoke beautifully mm -hmm. and uh he always said to me uh that words are the next most beautiful thing to silence mm -hmm. and he said speak feel every word you speak wow. that was his line i have never stopped that and uh, even the royal academy of dramatic arts never told me anything like that so yes i was there for 4 years but that line from my father was bigger than the 4 years in the royal academy of dramatic arts that's amazing we'll talk more about this let me take a <laughs> short break so i'm so i don't know i'm short of words again that you know i'm so happy that you are here today and as in the break we were saying i hope the journey continues me too and uh, uh, chitra we were talking about what were we talking about we were talking about <laughs> many things uh, mainly i think the yeah in the, the break you know, we were talking about voice also yes and i feel i know my limited knowledge i just thought of like this voice should be heard more often you know you should uh, and while doing that you should make some money <laughs> but uh, tell me you were sharing some experience when you were just 16 well when i was in london and i was studying uh, at rada you know at that time there were a lot of restrictions financially to uh, to send out money for the government and all that yeah. so my father couldn't uh, send the full amount of what was needed and it really set him a lot but so i then did things like use my voice for narrations and some commercials etc but even then um i felt mail world mail world number 1 but london england was much better okay. here here was horrible really yeah, yeah. and um but even then for example uh, coca cola and pepsi cola asked me to they want to use my voice mm. uh, for their commercials and i refused and they offered me a lot of money and why did i refuse i had no idea i really did not i know now why i would refuse uh i just felt that the whole idea of selling a drink was ridiculous um now of course it's been proved that it's poison <laughs> and uh, uh yeah. but things like that so i i think it was almost 
a higher power that guided me, um, that if this voice is a gift, as you have said since we met, uh, thank you so much for that appreciation, um, then, then it should, should be, be used as a gift. Wow. I'm not going to just throw it uh, in and any place just for money, uh, no. So you don't no. back something which you don't believe in? No. Yeah. Never have, never will. That's beautiful. At 16, some intuitive power. At that time, and I, and I had no idea. And yeah. every, all the people who I knew, the friends, or the, right. they said, you're insane. You're crazy. Right. What are you doing? You know, so. Uh, but something in you. Knew, something. Right? That, that's a beautiful thing we have. You know, we know, so, but we don't know. You know what I mean? Like and then to follow that. Right, yeah. right, right. Right, to right. follow it. Let's take one call quickly and then we. Hello. Hello. एनर्जी <laughs> एनर्जी नहीं रहती मेरे फादर भी जब गए सी गए उन्होंने लास्ट ब्रेथ लाई सी तो मैं उन्होंने फोन ते सी गई उस तो उधर उन्होंने लास्ट ब्रेथ लाई इधर मेरा मतलब एकदम एक होंका जा निकले आ ते मैंने समझ नहीं आई कि की हो गया पिक्चर रोन दिया आवाज आ कि मेरे फादर जस्ट टाइम ते गए हैं मैंने उन्हें देख ਜਦ ਗਈਆਂ ਤਾਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਸਕਾਰ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਇਹੀ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਹੀ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮੱਚ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਕਰਮ ਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਵਿਥ ਯੂ ਯਾ ਲੁਕ ਯੂ ਰਿਮਾਈਂਡਡ ਦ ਯੂ نو ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਆਫ ਦੇਅਰ ਓਨ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ نو ਹੂ ਕਾਲ ਜਸਟ ਨਾਓ ਕਰਮ ਜੀ ਕਰਮ ਜੀ ਜਸਟ ਨੋ ਐਂਡ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਥੈਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਵਿਥ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਹਾਊ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਦਰ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਥੇਅਰ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਰੀਲੀ ਡੂ so getting back that uh, we were talking about the wolf woman yes yes do we still have a little time yeah we'll have a couple of minutes before we go on a break. Uh, okay so um going back to this is a passionate conversation um so going back to you talked about the wo- the wolf woman productions the name mm-hmm. so that book and the name and what she writes about and talking about it she addresses women and talks about women understanding who they are not just following these models right. and you know i mean come on when 15 15 year old anorexic you, why would i follow Sad. that you know i mean no i am who i am so and she talks about that and there, it was a best seller uh, on the new york times for 10 years why it's not a novel you know because that's what she does she takes tales and psychologically talks about what this is and what that is and then relates to this it's not just women men mm. so when you meet your true self when you meet the wild woman or man in you which right. is the one mm. that is is to be is mm. you then um you are free and so that to me was so incredible and you know in my and then uh, when i decided to have a company i was like okay that's it everyone's like wolf woman i said yes <laughs> and then these few lines uh is describing the wolf woman the woman who has the courage the power and the strength and the belief to be who she is she has no name for she is so vast she lives at the end of time she lives at the edge of the world she is both friend and mother to all those who have lost their way all those who have lost their self identity and all those who have lost the love of themselves she wolf woman lives in all of us she is manifesto for all women regardless of age race creed or religion to return to their roots to unmask their own truths to realize their core and to confront what they fear the most their wow. own power wow it's very i have goosebumps <laughs> because this is this is exactly we were talking before yeah. show that you know taking yeah. off all the all the masks all the, masks. All the layers yeah. we don't have and i mean and i love how she put a, that then you're free yeah i think it is in the nature of a being to seek the inner core but 
in that rolla gappa you know the yeah. hustle and bustle we just forget about the hustle and bustle and what society wants to treat us like sheep do this do that you know they manipulate us mm -hmm. and who are they to manipulate us who are you to tell me what to wear who are you to tell me how to look who are you to do that you know why and then they rob you of your identity these little girls running around they don't have the foundation and I teach at NYU, I teach 21-year-old girls, uh, you know, boys, they're amazing. And I see the lostness, I see their starving eyes, they right. want more. I tell them, what are you doing? Right. This is not it, yeah. you know, and they don't have, they never had a role model. And I'm not saying I'm a role model, but I'm saying take off the masks, mm. take off the layers and walk with your own self. No, you're right, That's Chitra, the truth. My, I was sharing with you, my daughter just graduated from NYU. Yes. And through her, I got to meet so many young girls. And I, I hate to say that I wasn't happy no. to see them. What motivates them, what triggers their anxiety is, it's unbelievable. is, is, is very vain these very. days. And you know, Arvind, they have in my class, one of my classes, I asked them to write journals. And at the end of the semester, I look at all the journals, not to judge or anything, right, but to see course. growth. And in every single journal, every single journal, I hate myself, I hate who I am, yeah. I hate my body, I'm ugly, I'm nothing, in every journal. My heart goes out to them. Yeah, we know that it's a break time and we'll take a short break, but you don't go anywhere. This is the book by Chitra and now it's becoming a film. Uh, it will be a film. It will be a film. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me more about w well, what Well, it's we a clip. Uh, it's, it's not a trailer, obviously, because it's, the film has not been shot right, yet. Right, right. But I wrote the script first and then... You won many awards on this. No, not this. This The book has been out maybe it's a year e and a half. Yeah. I won many awards on A Journey Within a Journey. Oh, a Journey This hasn't been journey. made yet. Okay, okay, okay. So I wrote the script first and then... And there were a lot of people whom I respect who said, this is, uh, you have to write a book, a book. And I said, uh, no, no, I've written the script. But anyway, something very significant happened, which is long, so I won't go into that. <laughs> and uh, I uh, wrote the book. I started writing in 2010 and it took me two years. So originally the name was Sand Shades. And it's very much the story of, um, and now it's Blood Words, A Warrior's Walk. It is A Warrior's Walk. And it's a warrior, it's a woman. And it, what it is, is like um, the two beings in one, the two selves in one, the one who stays, mm. um, the married life, uh, you know, uh, the rituals, and the she who stays is the same she who leaves to follow her uh, uh, art and her passion. So people say, is it autobiographical? And I'm like, maybe, maybe not, but it's, it's really a inspiration from maybe my life um, because I did not, do the that part mm -hmm. you know the ritual ritualistic traditional part and i walked away and so the walk is really the book and will be the film and what happens so they're really they dream each other they're echoes of each other mm -hmm. so we kind of focus on the one who left but the one who stayed is also brought in all the time because she's very present so it's very hard to explain so it's this kind of a dual mm -hmm. two lives but they walk together and they weaved, they're weaved together. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't read it yet, uh, but what you're saying is reminding of so many of us are doing that in so yeah. many ways, you know, not only creativity and, uh, you know, traditional way, but mixing of two cultures. I see we were, before the break, we were talking about young girls. I feel all the young girls from India are doing this at the moment too you know they're mingling with what they expected outside what they want to do or i don't know how to relate but this is i think in some way everybody will be able to relate to this yeah i think a lot of people who uh, it's actually a required reading in one of my courses at nyu oh is it yeah because uh, the students came to me and said you know this is a transformative that that, that is a theory class of film mm -hmm. and uh, i have two other required reading books and they said you have to have this and i said but I, it's written by me and i i felt i would be very arrogant and she said no uh, you have to so at the it's request of some students i did do that and they have to they have to read it all oh, the two or three books and then reflect and the reflections are in the arch are just uh, amazing both uh, women girls and boys 
amazing. And the women, the girls come to me and say, Chitra, thank you. I, now I can be a woman. And or you changed my life. Or, right. You know. It's amazing. Let me take one quick call. We don't have much time. Hello. Anji Sasikar. Hanji, Harminder ji, just 30 seconds. Thank you very much, Chitra ji. You are here. You are multi-talented. You are a filmmaker. You are a director. You are a poet. You are a performer. Right. Thank you. You are a professor and you are an author. And your work has been created and shared all around the globe. And we love to see you on this program. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are right, Harminder ji. She's been you know, performing and uh, sharing all her experiences globally. You know, I had read that about you and which is amazing. We not too many get that chance and I'm sure there's a lot of effort behind that. Yeah, a lot of hard work. A lot, of, a lot hard of, work. of hard work. We haven't got a chance to talk about that yet. <laughs> you know, uh, one hour is not enough for that, but uh, there can't be anything else, but a lot of hard work must be there. Hard work. Yeah. Are we almost you know. ending? Yes, we um, are. I would love you to talk to my audience, you know. Well, I, I just would like to, I'm so sorry again that I don't speak Punjabi and Hindi fluently, so I don't want to mispronounce names I and mean, words. So thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you so much for being present and responding so beautifully. I need all the support and, and it's wonderful, Arvindji, for you inviting me and, you know, uh, doing this in the commun Indian community, which I think Thanks that's... Thanks to a friend who... And I would like to spe specifically thank Priscilla Pinto, who I just met, met recently. She's a phenomenal woman, and she was just, uh, I've got to get you on, I've got to get you on, I have to introduce <laughs> you. She actually introduced me to Irvinji, and um, thank you so much. But thank you all uh, for being present and appreciating uh, what I've done so far. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hunwaste nai, satriyaka.